there is another funding fight brewing in the nation's capital. Yeah, it's over indirect funding, but Brianna Connor joins us now to explain why it could actually impact you directly. Brianna? Yeah, that's right. We're talking about indirect funding, and this is all tied to the National Institutes of Health. We're talking about overhead, and if that's cut, you could see big impacts to some research that goes to life-saving uh, projects. Without this money, experts say those advances to cure cancer or treat chronic diseases would be in jeopardy. That's why Attorneys General representing 22 Democratic-led states sued the Trump administration today. They're asking a federal judge to temporarily block this change that would cap indirect payments at 15 percent for universities, medical centers, and other institutions receiving researcher grants from the NIH. This money often funds things like administrative and facility costs linked to research. Government data shows that right now in Texas, the NIH is funding 4,400 active projects totaling $2.5 billion. A local oncologist and NIH-funded T-cell researcher says without adequate indirect funding, labs will shrink, clinical trials will stall, and life-saving innovations will be lost. It's, it's drastic. Um, it leaves a lot of uncertainty. Um, it also means that we're trying to spend time training students and training uh, postdocs and training other physician scientists and we're afraid that there will be a generational loss um, in, in the type of research we're doing. Uh, there will be people who want to enter science and perform basic research or translational research and they're going to look at this as another obstacle. Yeah, potentially a massive impact here. We know so much of this happens at the university level. Brianna, mm -hmm. you just heard back from U of H about how these NIH uh, changes in funding might impact them over there. What are they saying? Right, I'm told they expect their losses to exceed $10 million if the cuts go through. Now, a social media post from the NIH says this change will save the federal government $4 billion annually. But you also have to think about the ripple effects of this. You know, several research universities in our area. We also have the medical center in our neck of the woods, too. And these cuts amount to jobs lost as well. Yeah.